Are you going to vote for the electric chair or lethal injection? Um, now, in the back of your book, there's a little tiny card. It's called the world's smallest political quiz. One of the things that it does is to eliminate the fallacy that everything is left or right. There is also up and down. Now, Hitler was a totalitarian. Hitler wanted to control your mind and your money. You have no control. The state or the government has all the control. He's on the bottom of a little diamond shape. Now, the Democrats want to control your money, but not your mind. So they are on the left. The Republicans want to control your mind, but not your money. So they are on the right. If you are on the top, where you want to control your own money, you want to do your own thinking, then you are a libertarian. You believe that you are smart enough to spend your own money. You are smart enough to, to decide for yourself where you, whether you want to read Playboy. Pornography is in the eye of the beholder. You're, you know, adult. You know, make your own decisions. So, stop thinking as everything left and right. Think of everything as two-dimensional, left, right, up, or down. Where do you want to be on the playing field? And you can answer these ten simple questions, and it you give you a score, and it will let you know basically where you stand. Now, let me give you a little uh, anecdote that I, I developed to talk about the difference between the Republican Party with a capital R and a republic, which is a form of government, with a small r. Let's say that I walk into the room and I have a pet. And my pet is under my arm and it's going, bark, 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 bark. And you say, what's your pet's name? And I say, my, na my pet's name is Dog. Now, my pet is a dog with a small d, but I've also given him a name. And his name is Dog with a capital D. And so I take my dog with me. And so for several years, this dog is my pet dog. Now my dog dies. And I go out and I get a new pet. And I come walking into the room with a new pet. And I've got my new pet under my arm. And my, my new pet is going, meow, meow. And you say, what do you call your pet? And I say, I call my pet Dog. This is Dog 2. But I like the name so much, I just kept the name. So now, I call my, my pet Dog with a capital D. What is it? Is it a dog with a small d? No. The name has nothing to do with the animal. The Republicans with a capital R have nothing to do with the Republic with a small r. They've just kept the name. They are voting away all of your rights. Now, people say, well, I don't want to vote for one of the smaller parties because I don't want to waste my vote. I would rather vote for one of the guys that's going to win. And I'm going to ask you again, do you want to vote for Stalin or Hitler? Because those guys are going to win, they're going to get most of the votes. Is there anybody here whose mother did not ask them, if all your friends jump off a cliff, are you going to jump off too? <laughs> Isn't that stupid? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If you think that the United States is in trouble, and you go back to vote, and you vote Democratic or Republican, just like you've always done, thinking that you're going to fix it, you are insane. You are crazy. Call the men in the white coats, and we'll have them come and pick you up. If you want things to be different, you have to do something different. I don't care which party you vote for. I really don't. Just don't vote Democratic and don't vote Republican. <laughs> vote for anybody else. 
If you vote Democrat or Republican and 98% of the total goes to them, they go, well, things are the same. You know, we got you know the will of the people. They don't want anything to change. You say, well, yeah, but if I vote for the Libertarian, he's never going to win. Well, no, if you're not if you don't vote for him. But if you vote for him, and let's say he gets 20% of the vote, is he the president? No. But whoever is president is going to go, wait a minute, this guy got 20% of the vote. I'm going to go stand over there and do a little bit more what he was doing. They're going to have to pay attention to you. Have we ever had a socialist president? Well, nobody on the Socialist Party. We've never had somebody from the Socialist Party elected as the president. But they didn't have to. They just started the Socialist Party of America, and they just keep putting out all these ideas and getting votes. And so the Republicans and Democrats have both been becoming more and more socialist. How many people remember Franklin Delano Roosevelt? He may not have been on the socialist ticket, but Roosevelt was a socialist. He went to England, which is the center of all socialism in the world, and he learned to be a socialist. He got elected in 1932, and all of his New Deal is socialism. You like my dog? Meow, meow. Are you going to be fooled if I change the name? No, and it's a cat. So then why are you so surprised when they call it the New Deal and I go, it's socialism. How can you be fooled so easily? Any questions on the different uh, forms of government or the different political parties? Now, on page 11, there are different implementations of those different forms of government. If I have a totalitarian government, it is a monarchy by definition. Fascism is a form of dictatorship. Fascism is a government system led by a dictator or a monarch having complete power forcibly suppressing of opposition and criticism. Forcibly, uh, forcibly suppressing opposition. Does that sound like freedom of speech is alive and well under fascism? No, you have no freedom of speech. In fact, if you say anything that the government doesn't like, you're going to disappear about 2 o'clock in the morning, and nobody's ever going to hear from you again. Now, uh, Stalinism is another form of government. Well, Stalin was an American ally. You know, we don't want to piss him off. And so, even though he was a fascist, we don't want to call him that because that might be a little embarrassing. You know, he was our buddy. And so we invent a new name. We call it Stalinism. Well, the dictionary correctly defines it as uh, a, an ideology characterized especially by the extreme suppression of dissident political or ideological views. What does exp uh, extreme suppression mean? <coughs> That's pretty well suppressed. Stalin is guilty of killing 25 to 35 million of his own people. Now, I don't condone what Hitler did, but at least he was going, well, it's those guys. Hitler was trying to kill all the other guys. Stalin was killing our guys. And he killed six times as many. Why is Hitler the worst guy in history? How come it's not Stalin? Well, he's going to be our buddy. We always saw him sitting on the boat with, you know, FDR. And Winston Churchill, he was one of the big three. Well, that must mean that you know, Stalin's a good guy because they're all alike, right? Well, I agree that they're all alike, 